have started a few videos. We did a couple videos with Bella. Um, Bella is this new little black puppy that we just got. And we showed some of the stuff. We've had her a week. Um, today's Monday, so it'll be like 10 days um, that I've had her. And the first week or so, um, intentionally, I probably don't do a ton of stuff. Uh, it's more just getting them settled in, getting them uh, comfortable, getting them to kind of trust me start get developing a little bit of a feel for them as pups. Um, I can say right now, I'm, I'm really falling for this one. Um, she's, she's been really nice. She's really quiet in her kennel. Uh, she's been very quiet in her kennel since we picked her up. Um, I would say in, in 10 days, we maybe have heard her make noise in the kennel, um, maybe four or five times. And when I say noise, it's not barking or howling. It's just a little bit of whining. Um, she's, no accidents. So the kennel that we got her from, uh, is, it's called Blue Cypress Kennels. They had her, she's about 16 weeks. I think I got to get her, I don't even have her papers yet, so I don't know her birthday. Um, but I think she's between 15 and 16 weeks. I think she's closer to 16 weeks than 15, but um, we've only had her now for 10 days. So they had her for probably, oh, six weeks. Um, uh, from when the pups were separated from mom. And so they did a really nice job establishing kind of this, this baseline for us. Very comfortable in the kennel. I think it's partly uh, heavily because of how they introduced her to it right away. She got used to it. I think the other part about it is, is, is just her. Um, I think she is a real relaxed dog. She's, she's a beautiful balance of, ba of, of cautious at times and real bold at times. And I just, I'm really impressed with it so far. Now, like I said, I haven't really formally done much. Two reasons. Uh, one is I don't want to put too much on a dog the first few days, especially that I move them in and change their environment and kind of uproot everything they know. The second reason is we had Arrow here and we had Cody and Cody is going to be back here today anyway, but she just went home for the weekend. But Arrow went home to her home home um, with, her, with her family. So I purposely wanted to wait. Ben and I documented a lot of arrow training uh, the last month. We've been documenting a month or more now of, of Cody um, with handling. So what I want to do, and you can just hear, she, that was her just laying down and settling in. Um, but what I want to do is I want to really document this puppy. Um, the good, the bad, the ugly, the whole thing. And so uh, very similar to how we do live with Spry. Ben and I got to talk about it yet because we're going to figure out exactly how we're going to do it. I want to incorporate some live stuff. I don't know that every video will be live. Obviously, it's not. We're filming this. But, um, and it's partially because of connection and Wi-Fi. But we're going to start doing things now. And I think the value of this is for you uh, who are watching that maybe haven't done a whole bunch of stuff from seven or eight weeks old when you got your puppy till this maybe 16-week range. Um, that's, a, that's two months. Um, the thing is, is we didn't, we, I, I hear people talk about just let them be puppies. I'm okay with the idea of it as long as it's not a free for all. Um, I think them being puppies and still maintaining control, still forming good habits, still avoiding the bad habits or, or forming of bad habits. I think that's um, a must. So with her, she doesn't have, there are some habits uh, she do, she's not real good at. She comes out of the kennel fast. Uh, she, she'll come running out if I let her. So we're not going to let that. This is the first time. So I've, I've, I've wanted to do this now for days, but I thought, no, I don't want to do it until we record it. Cause I want you to see it happen for the first couple times. And I want you to see how quickly, um, they'll, they'll learn if you do, if your timing is right, if your timing is good, if you, if your level is correct, if, I'm not going to hurt this little puppy. I don't want to hurt her, but I also want her to understand you don't come out until I let you, you don't tell, come out until I tell you it's okay. Good. Good. Three times it took the third time she stayed back. Now, if you're watching and you're going, screw that my dog would keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Then trust me, I've got those two arrows like that. Stick with it. You don't have, I mean, this is, this dog's sharp, really sharp. Good. That tail wagging tells me it's fun. 
Bella. Bella, good. Now I just had Bella out, so I'm not afraid of her going to the bathroom. I mean, I literally put her out, we did the bathroom, I came back, I kenneled her back up. So normally, I'm going right from here, outside, let her do her thing. It's the one downfall of her right now that I can say, and it's not a downfall, I'm not complaining about it. I just think we need to work on her speeding up her bathroom. She gets, she really dawdles. She doesn't go right away, which is great because she's not, I, I don't have a lot of risk she's gonna have an accident, but I don't want, so we're gonna pick that up. I don't want her, um, I'd like her to speed that up a little bit outside. And we'll talk about, I take them outside and I tell them, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Right when they're about to go to the bathroom, they start to connect that hurry up, hurry up, hurry up with going to the bathroom. And then what I can do is I can get them to kind of go on cue. Uh, normally it's not a problem because these little puppies usually go the second they get their feet on the grass. And she will if she really has been holding it. But I need to get her, I'd like to get her to speed that up a little bit. Now, she also has a tendency to stick with me. They've done a nice job with her. Um, they have, she hasn't either hasn't gotten to that point yet where she's so confident and independent that she wants to kind of move off on her own or they've done a nice job of keeping her interested in being with them. So she doesn't like, she's not real free. I've got three dogs on the other side of the room right now. Uh, I think she probably knows it, maybe not, but she's sticking with me. Part of it too is because she knows it's feeding time. We're late. Our routine normally is gonna do this in the morning. We didn't do it in the morning because uh, we didn't have Cody. We didn't do our Cody video. So we just kind of got our routine thrown off. But feeding times is gonna start to become our training time for a lot of the skills um, that we're gonna now start to be formal with. Um, I think feeding time is a great chance to do it. Come on, come on, come on. Because it's, Real, it's real consistent. Twice a day I do it. Um, I can get multiple lessons out of the feeding and it really doesn't take me that much more time. I got to feed her anyway. I might as well gain something from it. But it's real positive. It's rewarded very positively. So she's not, she doesn't know how to sit. She doesn't know how to stay. She doesn't know how to be patient quite yet. Um, that's the stuff we're going to start right now. I have not steadied her up on food yet. I've been feeding her in her kennel. Part of the reason why I think she likes her kennel too here is it's a real positive place. She's been eating in it. So I'm gonna get her here. I want her to sit. Sit, 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 good, good. And I'm gonna let her eat. Good. Then I'm gonna come over here. I'm actually gonna grab just a little handful. I'm not a treat trainer by any means. I don't. I don't treat train, meaning I don't, I don't pay all my dogs with rewards of food all the time. But I do like them to understand because early on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get her to understand she can take a treat out, of, she can take a little piece of kibble right out of my hand. Now, a lot of times with arrow especially, if I put my fingers like this with it, she would nip at my fingers and she'd get a little, arrow would get a little aggressive and bite at my fingers. So I'm at, I had to take her and kind of train her, don't take it out of my fingers, take it off, take it off my, my hand. So now she knows I've got this food. So what I want, sit, sit, sit. I'm gonna push her down, push her butt down as soon as your butt hits the ground, good. We fumble the food a little bit, but that's okay. Come here, sit. Sit, good, good. Come here, get her to move a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, you can move very good. Come here, come here. Bring her back around, sit, sit. A little pressure, her butt hits the ground. Good dog. I like to lift it up and see if I can't get her butt to go down. If I have to, I'll push her butt down. Come here. Sit. 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 She's real close. Good. I don't think sit means much right now. It's just the behavior, the, the action that I'm looking for. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Very good. Come on. Come on. Sit. Sit. Ah, ah, ah. Sit. Good. Good. We'll just do that a couple times. 
Come here. And she's hungry. Like I said, we kind of missed breakfast this morning. Come here. Sit. Ah, ah, ah. Come on, come on, come on. Sit. Sit. Good. Good girl. Come here. Come on. Come on. Sit. 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 Good. 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 And that's enough for right now. Now, I'm going to grab her bowl of food. So you can see, she doesn't know that stuff. And so, first we're just going to get her to understand that there's a little chance to learn something, do something. I shouldn't say learn it because I don't even think she knows she's learning. I think she's just doing something and getting rewarded for it. And it's pretty positive. Now, the bowl of food, she knows the bowl of food. She knows what it looks like. She knows what it smells like. She knows what's coming. So what I'm going to do is, because I can still physically do it, I'm going to pick her up. I'm going to set it down. I'm going to do it at a real short distance because she's never done this before. She's super calm. And you've seen me, guy. I, I do this with puppies all the time where I just hold on to them until they settle. And a lot of times they whine and they fuss and they, they move all over and they wiggle and they just want to get loose. Her heartbeat's not too fast right now. It's a little bit... It's picked up a little bit, but not terrible. But she's pretty relaxed. So from that point, if, if they don't, you gotta wait it out. She's, she's just real relaxed to begin with. So I'm gonna set her feet down. And I don't want her moving. Uh, uh, uh. Good. Bella, 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 good. Bella, Bella, good, 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 good. Come on, come on, come on. Bella, good dog. Bella, she's become that one little correction of don't move, don't move. Good girl, very good. That one little correction of no, where she went to move and I held her back, that stuck. That, that sunk into her. She went, I shouldn't go. He doesn't want me to. So now it's like with her, she's, she's on the side of the spectrum that I really love. It's part of why I'm really liking her. Um, she's a very relaxed dog. Uh, she's just got a wonderful disposition. Um, sweet as can be. Real responsive. Again, cautious when she needs to be, bold when she needs to be. She's not showing you a lot of boldness right now. I don't necessarily want her showing me a lot of boldness in this environment. Um, there's a video that we did, Ben filmed before, where we, you see her get bold, build up courage, and all of a sudden go blowing through some cover. Um, that's the right time to show that little bit of boldness. Good. 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 Bella. 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 Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's a good girl. Bella. Good girl. I mean, she really looks at me. Very good. Very good. So this is just super, super early on. Um, the other thing that I did know about, notice about her too right away was when she came to us and I fed her, I didn't always feed her in the kennel, started just feeding her here and I just set her down and let her eat um, for that first week. Just getting her, some dogs struggle to eat uh, when you move them like this. She didn't really struggle, but she had a bad habit where she'd eat a few bites and then want to go do something. Then I'd have to encourage her back, eat a few bites, go do something, she want to go do something. So she would eat a few bites and then pull away from that food. I don't like that. I want them to sit down, focus and eat. So we work on that. Um, part of the way we do it is by softening the food. So it's not so hard for her to chew. Um, sometimes I think it's hard for a dog to chew dry kibble. And so especially when they're little puppies, when there's teething in particular. So I, I, they'll, they'll struggle to really get into it. That's why we soak it. Um, the other reason is, is I do think it gives them extra water. Um, I think sometimes it's hard to get these puppies to just drink water. It, I don't leave free water for them. Um, they'll make a mess in it. Uh, they'll start playing in it. So I don't leave free water for them. This gives me an extra drink um, for them. But what she'll eat and then she'll go. She'll eat and then she'll go. Now the problem is, is ah, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. I gotta get her back in to eat. And 
this has been since day one, but it's gotten a lot better. Before it was bite, bite, run away, bite, bite, run away. And so if she doesn't, if she continues to do that, which she did the first day or two, I just pick the food up after a certain amount of time. I'm not gonna leave it out there forever. So she's got a window of time to eat. And if she doesn't eat it all, it gets, it gets picked up. So she's learned pretty quickly um, here in, in a week's time. I got two chances to eat a day. I better take advantage of it. And so the screwing around in between bites is really fading off. Come on, come on, come on. And so we just, we just take a little bit. I, I give her a little bit of grace here. Um, I let her take a little bit longer time eating. Uh, I let her take a break. I think part of it is, is she gets a, a mouthful and she wants to move around and kind of let it get it swallowed. So I don't have a problem with that. You can see it. She's just in and out, in and out, in and out. But if she were to go off, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There, very good. Very good. Come on, come on, come on. Good, good. If it were to the point where she just wasn't going back to it and eating it quick enough, that would be it, I'd be done. Um, I'd just pick the food up and then I'd go back into the kennel with her, uh, into the crate, and she'd be hungry the next time. So that's kind of the, that's the routine we're just starting to work into. Um, you know, she's sticky. I'm two steps away and she's sticky to send, but just watch how quickly, come on, come on, come on. Just how quickly this will change. And there she gets a little bit to the point where she goes, ah, I might go do something different now. Ah, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here's what I love is this recall. Very good, very good. I mean, that's a lot of distraction over there and she pulls away from it. So um, just a real nice habit that's formed. We're gonna continue it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. She gets another chance to eat. I let her, I'd like to see her finish that bowl. Um, but this is a routine that we're just starting. First day we're doing it. Doesn't look very good. Didn't, you know, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. That's another thing we're gonna start is place training. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hi, da, 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 da. Ah, 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 ah. Come here, good girl. Good girl, good girl. So we'll let her finish and then that'll be it for today. Um, but just watch in a matter of a few days how we'll be able to get her to start focusing and understanding. We can line her out to the food and then we'll also start um, building time up and kind of building up the excitement about it, about the reward. And then we'll also add some distance to it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's a good girl. Come on, that's a good girl. Here, come on, very good, very good. Come on, come on, finish it up now. So if she doesn't go back to it, um, like she's kind of showing me right now, she's kind of showing me she's full. It's also the thing you gotta kind of do is you kind of gotta gauge how much she's gonna eat. I let them dictate how much they're gonna eat. Um, I don't go based on a bag, uh, on the back of a bag of food. It's how much do they eat in a sitting without wasting. And, and so she is probably about, I had probably a cup and a half. Come on. Come on. I had probably a cup and a half in there, and that's been what she has been eating. She's about two thirds of the way through it. And so that, that is a pretty, probably a pretty close, um, pretty close to the amount that she's gonna get, um, as long as she finishes it. And this, this, the, this is what I wanna avoid in the future. In, out, in, out, in, out. Come on, come on, ah, 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 ah. come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Very good, come on. Come on, come on. Couple more bites. So she fools around anymore. I might pick that up and then that'll be it. But I wanna try to, I wanna try to shrink this too, this, this time that it takes to feed. I, I just don't have time to feed the, I mean, we don't have that many dogs. We've got our three and then we've got, you know, Cody is in, she is in. So four or five dogs at a time is more than enough. Um, and I don't have time to, to fool around um, feeding them, especially for traveling. So this is something that I like 
get them in, get them to eat, get it done with. Uh, same with bathroom. Get outside, do your business, get back in. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's finish. Come on. No, ah, 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 ah. no, 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 no. Now she's... Come on. Here's another nice trait of hers. Pick something up, put it in her mouth, and bring it to me. She does it all the time. Uh, just extremely natural with that. Um, really been really been a pleasure to work with to this point just because of things like that and those are things that we're just going to try to reinforce all right come on come on come on good girl good girl um, we're going to start in on place training because that's the one part one, one piece that we have been missing. Um, normally, I probably would have started on her earlier since, in, you know, in the last week, but um, between the other dogs here, uh, between Ben not being here, you know, living here full time with us on our, at our house, so that, that made it hard. I want to show you because she's never been place trained. So she's going to jump off, she's going to jump off, and I want you to see that. Come on. Come on, finish. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good dog. Good dog. So you can you can kind of see what I'm talking about there. So those are things that we're going to continue to work on with her. Crashing down.